Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 most common built-in functions in SMAT Solver. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and don't forget to like and click the notification bell so you'll be updated of my upcoming videos. Let's begin. There are basically five different ways to access the built-in functions in SMAT Solver. The first method is to click the insert tab and select functions in the drop down menu. A window will appear showing the categories to the left and the functions that belong to each category to the right. Choose the desired category and function, then click insert. For example, to find the sine of 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians, click insert, function, trigonometric, sine, then click insert. Inside the parentheses, Enter pi divided by 6, then press equals. You will get 0 0.5. In making the calculations involving angles in degrees in SMAT Solver, it is important to convert the angles to radians first, as the default unit of angle used in SMAT Solver is in radians. The second method is by using the shortcut key Control plus E. The same function window will appear and you can select the desired function as in the first method. The third method is by clicking the FX icon in the toolbar. As in the first two methods, the function window will appear once you click the FX icon. The fourth method is by direct typing. If you know the desired function, simply start typing and the dynamic assistant will appear to suggest functions. Scroll through the suggested items and press tab to select the function. And the fifth method is by using the side functions palette. If the function you want to use is in the function side palette, simply click it to select. Some of the common built-in functions in SMAT Solver. Number one, trigonometric functions. To get sine 30 radians, type sine, open parenthesis, 30, close parenthesis, then equals. It will give you a value of negative 0 0.99. To get sine 30 degrees, type sine, open parenthesis, 30 times pi divided by 180, close parenthesis, equals. This will give you a value of 0 0.5. 30 degrees is converted to radians first. To get the value of arc cosine 0 0.5, type A cosine, open parenthesis, 0 0.5, close parenthesis, then equals. This will result to 1.05 radians or 60 degrees. Number 2. Absolute value. To get the absolute value of a number n, where n is any positive or negative number. For example, negative 0 0.75. Type ABS, open parenthesis, negative 0 0.75, close parenthesis, equals, to get positive 0 0.75. Number 3, exponential function. To find E raised to negative 0 0.51, type EXP, open parenthesis, negative 0 0.51, close parenthesis, then equals. This will give the value of 0 0.600496. Or you may also type E carat negative 0 0.51 equals. This will also give us the same answer. E is called the Euler's number equal to 2.81828. Number 4. Logarithmic function. To get the logarithm of a number, x to the base n, type log, open parenthesis, x, comma, n, close parenthesis, equals. For example, to find the logarithm of 8 to the base 2, type log, open parenthesis, 8, comma, 2, close parenthesis, then equals. This results to 3. To find the logarithm of 100 to the base 10, 
type log open parenthesis 100 comma 10 close parenthesis equals to get 2. Number 5. Percentage. To get the x percent of a number n, type perk open parenthesis n comma x close parenthesis equals. For example, to get 5 percent of 25, type perk open parenthesis 25 comma 5 close parenthesis equals to get 1.25. Number 6. Random number. To generate a random number between 0 and a number n, type random open parenthesis n close parenthesis equals. For example, to generate a random number between 0 and 50, type random open parenthesis 50 close parenthesis equals. You can press F9 to repeat execution of the random call. Number 7. Round function. To round off a number n to x number of decimal places, type round open parenthesis n comma x close parenthesis, equals. For example, to round off 5.64846 to four decimal places, type round open parenthesis 5.64846 comma 4 close parenthesis, equals. Number 8. Summation function. To get the sum of k squared for k equals 1 to k equals 10, click the summation function from the side palette, then enter k squared, and then the values 1 and 10 equals. Number 9. Integral function. To find the definite integral of 1 over x cubed, with limits 1 to 5. Click the integral function from the side palette. Enter the function and the limits 1 to 5 equals. Number 10. Complex number conversion. To convert a complex number from rectangular form to polar form, click the FX icon, select complex numbers, then choose XY to poll. Click insert. For example, to convert 30 plus 40i to its polar form, click FX, select complex numbers, choose XY to poll. Click insert. Then enter 30 and 40 equals. The angle of 0 0.927295 is in radians. The equivalent in degrees is 53.13 degrees. To convert it back to rectangular form, click FX icon, choose complex numbers, select pole to XY, insert. Enter 50 and 0 0.927295 equals. Notice that the result has imaginary parts but small raised to the negative 14. So it is negligible. We can write the answer as real part equals 30 and imaginary part equals 40 or 30 plus 40i. So that's it for today's video and I hope you find it useful. If you like this video, please feel free to share and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and God bless.